Welcome back. Concerns from a Putnam City student about COVID precautions at his school. He claims the school isn't taking some of the safety measures they say they are. The students say he has several concerns, including teachers not wearing masks around vulnerable students. News Force Angela Shin has been very busy tonight. She has details. Putnam City has put up, out like two statements saying um, some of the things they've been doing regarding COVID, I would just like parents um, to know that their kids may not be as safe as they think they are. Andy Fair, a freshman at Putnam City High School, sharing his concerns about COVID protocol at his school. He sent news for these photos of a crowded hallway during passing period. Only a few students were visibly wearing masks. The hallways are very, very crowded, which is expected with it being a really big high school. But um, I think there is some um, precautions they could be taking regarding that. He also has concerns about hand sanitizing. Putnam City said that they have mobile hand sanitizing stations in schools, and I haven't seen any. They also said they're on the buses, and I haven't seen any. And mask wearing. I think Friday they told kids that they should start wearing their masks. They, like, recommended it. And, you know, when we came to school on Friday, a lot of kids did start wearing their masks. A lot of kids but uh, no more teachers really started wearing their masks. So it's it's just surprising to me that the, it's, it seems like the students are taking more precautions than the adults. In response, Putnam City Schools released a statement that reads in part, every teacher that has been provided with hand sanitizer and dispensers should be hanging on the walls in the classrooms. In a large high school, there will be busy hallways during passing times. We have recently changed our mask language, that it is an expectation that anyone in our buildings wear them so we can better protect the most vulnerable people who are unable to or cannot get the vaccine. Well, the district also says if anyone has a concern, they should bring it to school officials so they can act on it. There's a stipend for employees and substitutes who are vaccinated.